I'm gonna tell you five different ways that you can come up with video ideas for YouTube, and we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick from TuberTools.com. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, I know coming up with video ideas can be difficult. It's actually one of the biggest hurdles outside of getting on camera in the first place that YouTubers have, coming up with ideas over and over and over and over again. This is gonna help you out. But first, if you have any techniques or tricks that you use to come up with ideas, make sure you leave them in the comments below for anybody else that's gonna watch this video. Okay, the first thing that I always recommend to people when they're trying to come up with video ideas is to go up to the autocomplete feature inside of YouTube. Basically, that's the little search box at the very top of the page. If you just start typing stuff in there, it can be anything. Type anything up in the search box and then YouTube is gonna start suggesting ideas to you. Those are all things that people are looking for and those are things that you can make videos about. And as a bonus, those are also the exact keyword phrases that people are searching for. So if you make video videos that are specifically based on those phrases, then you're massively increasing your chances of discovery on YouTube. So not only are you gonna come up with a great idea by using that, but you're also going to help yourself get more attention on YouTube, which is a win and a win. Or in other words, you're killing two birds with one stone. Until just now, I never really thought about how sad that phrase actually is. Huh. Number two is the magazine rack at your local store. Now, wait a minute, hear me out. The cool thing about going to a magazine rack is not only do they have tons of magazines that are based on specific topic sets, you know, and you can find the ones that are based on the topic sets that you happen to cover on your channel, but if you start looking into magazines that are not directly related to your topic set, you would be blown away at all of the different ideas that you can come up with by seeing the things that they're covering in other magazines. As an example, if you make car videos, Videos, videos about cars and you look into a beauty magazine and you see the way that they're titling things and the topics that they're talking about and you think, okay, how can I apply this to a car? Not only are you getting ideas that are most likely a little bit more unique than your competition, but you're also giving your viewers something that's a little bit more unique. If you end up using the magazine rack method, make sure that you definitely look inside of the magazines that apply to your niche, but also keep your mind open, look into some other magazines, just random magazines that have nothing to do with what it is that you talk about and see if you spark any new ideas. Now, you can take this whole thing up a notch and even save yourself some gas money for not having to run to the store, and, or unless, of course, you're driving an electric vehicle. But even if you're using an electric vehicle, you can use some of your electricity in your place to hop on the internet and just look at industry magazines from the comfort of your own home. The only downside of doing it this way is you're only looking at the magazines that you happen to know about that you happen to know to search for instead of also being inspired by the other types of magazines that we were talking about in the last one. But regardless, it is a fantastic method to come up with video ideas. Another way to come up with video ideas is to search in your comment section. No matter what type of content you make, there's a really good chance there's somebody down there asking you a question about what it is that you're doing. Make videos about that. And as a matter of fact, if you have any YouTube questions that you want me to answer, go ahead and leave them in the comments right now. And if by some chance you don't have enough comments coming in yet, or you don't have people that are asking you a bunch of questions yet, you can always ask your viewers to ask a question just like I did a second ago. Another method of coming up with video ideas is don't necessarily think of a video idea as a video idea. Hey, I gotta come up with this video idea. Think of it more along the lines of, what do I have to say? I mean, really, what is it that you want to say? What message do you wanna get out there? What information do you have or what thoughts do you have or what opinions or ideas or theories do you have that your audience might be interested in and that you might wanna share with your audience? Here's the thing. Of course you wanna make as many videos as possible to where you can rank them in search so you can increase your chances of discovery and all of that good stuff. But if you have something that you wanna say, you've got the stage to stand on, you've got the people that are watching you, you've got YouTube that you can use to help you express whatever thoughts, ideas, or opinions, or anything else that you wanna share in your videos. But hey, make sure you keep it clean, okay? Another way that you can get video ideas is you can ask your family, your friends, anybody that watches your videos, ask them what they think you should make a video about. Personally, I actually get a surprisingly large number of video ideas just from people that I know asking me questions about YouTube. So you can pull the people that you're around and see what you can come up with. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.